Hey, what is up everybody? It's Damron. We're playing Sniper Elite 5. We're on Mission 5, Fest on Guernsey. We're grabbing all the collectibles in one playthrough, all the classified documents, the hidden items, personal letters, workbenches, the dead eye targets, or the stone eagles, so we can grab all of those collectible related achievements in one playthrough and bang them out. So let's go ahead and get started with Mission 5. Festung Guernsey. I had to look up how to pronounce that. But the first thing that we're going to get is our classified document. Okay, so you're going to start on these southeastern kind of, not southeastern, the south in these rocks. And the first thing that you're going to come to is a small little fortress here. So you can see I'm on the south side of the map. Uh, again, this is kind of a large fortress, so you're going to be able to recognize this easily. So go ahead and clear that out, um, or you can be stealth about it. But I've cleared it out. And essentially, we're going to head into the building once we've kind of cleared out this area. And what we're going to do is actually we're going to grab a safe code. Uh, you could blow this up with satchel but unlikely to have satchel charges so early in the mission so I did want to show you that the uh, safe codes are up here right here on this table and once you grab those head back out now we're gonna open this window here and you can actually hop out and hang and you'll actually see you'll be on some vines so once you hop out of that window now you can kind of take those vines around and get into a room that you otherwise could not enter you can see you could also access these vines from the ground if you wanted to do it that way but once you get in here there will be a safe that you can unlock with the safe code so go ahead and open that and we'll get our first classified documents of the mission our 20th overall and our first collectible in this mission Moving on from that fort, we're going to head kind of north, you know, kind of north by northwest a little bit to the next building that's on the map. And you can easily see this kind of off the main road here. So this is what it looks like. It's going to be a kind of another small little fortress that you can take out all the German soldiers in. Uh, so once you've done that, I'm going to show you where the collectibles are. But there are some enemies up here on top of this roof. So if you just climb this netting, you're going to have to either, you know, stealthily take them out or just go loud and proud and start banging out everybody. But once you do get up on this roof, head into this entrance and go into the back room uh, where kind of the machine gun or bazooka nest is. And on top of this shelf here is going to be our next personal letter. From that personal letter, now let's go back to the roof of this pillbox, I guess. And uh, once you get back on the roof, uh, we're going to be able to see our next uh, stone eagle or our dead eye target kind of off in the distance. So you can see I'm kind of looking north by northwest. There's a small little fort up here in the northwestern corner of the map. We'll grab a collectible there later, actually. But from where we are, we got a nice easy shot at the stone eagle on the roof of that. So go ahead and take that out. And that'll be our first dead eye target of the mission. Once you've taken that out, now let's head up the road that's going north from that structure, and then we'll take east this road here. And you can see there's this kind of small building uh, right here that I'm just on the southern, you know, south of that on the main road. And the tallest point of the building is a tower, on top of which is going to be our next stone eagle. So go ahead and take that out. Also, our next workbench is in that same tower. So we've taken out that stone eagle. We're at the same building. Now we're going to get into that tower by heading to the bottom of it. There's going to be some vines that we can climb up, eventually leading to some ledges that you can kind of grab onto. Just use A to kind of jump your way up these little, you know, pipes that are kind of on the side of the building. And once you get into the tower, now you will find your next workbench right here in front of you. Moving on a little bit east from where we were, so you can kind of just go east along that road into this other area. You can see there's four buildings here um, in this small area. We're going to go in the northeasternmost building, which is the smallest building on the map. It's also the building that has a blue roof um, in this area, so feel free to you know locate it however you want. But nonetheless, once you get to the building that has the blue roof, head inside, and there's going to be a hole that you can drop down into the basement of this building. And in the basement, right on this workbench, is going to be our first hidden item of the level. Also, right beside that hidden item is our next personal letter. Once we've collected those two collectibles in that area, now we're going to head south to Martello Tower. So you can see where we are right here. Head straight south. This is Martello Tower. There's going to be an officer in here that has our next personal letter. Um, you can identify these with your binoculars. If you look at them, you see in the top right it says personal letters. So those are the ones that have items that you can collect. Uh, so you just need to kill this officer and go ahead and search his body. And you will now collect the no need to worry personal letter. Thank you. 
Moving on from that, now we're going to head north, um, kind of northwest a little bit. There's a farmhouse that you can see. It's kind of right in the center of this map. Uh, it's kind of this building that has kind of the angulated portion. I'm kind of in the courtyard of this farmhouse. Uh, essentially, you know, right here is where I am. But you're looking for the building that has is white with the blue shutters. That's kind of the main portion of the building. So go ahead and head into that building. And what we're going to do is we're going to head to the second floor of this main house. And when we get to the second floor, just turn around and head back to this back bedroom and in the bedroom on a dresser is our next hidden item. From the farmhouse, now we're going to head east a little bit. We're going to be heading into the underground hospital. So on the map, you know, this is actually underground. Uh, you can see the entrance to that hospital is right where I am. So I'm on the southern side of that hospital entrance. I went ahead and kind of cleared out the bunker to make it easier. But essentially, when you go into the bunker from the south entrance, the first room on your left, go into that room. And if you go in that room and kind of go around this middle table, you'll find your next classified document sitting under this Nazi and Japanese poster. Designed to render the gun inactive before it's captured. From that classified document, we are going to stay inside of the actual underground hospital itself. And now we're just going to run all the way to the end of this hallway where the bunker kind of veers left or right. It's kind of a T intersection. And we're going to go inside this office that's right at that T intersection. So again, just straight back. And when you get back here, this is our next classified document. This one's actually tied to the main mission. You will complete an objective when you pick this one up. So this one's kind of story related, right? You can't technically miss that one. Um, but from that classified document, now we're going to head out of the eastern side of the bunker itself. So we left that office. Now we're heading out the east exit. So I just kind of turned left. And when you get outside of the bunker, now we're going to hang a right. And we're going to go up this small little grassy path and just kind of go all the way up to this grassy path. Just follow my direction. I'll show you where it is on the map in just a second. But there is this small kind of building out by itself uh, where you go where I'm at. So if you look at where I'm at on the map, I've kind of exited uh, this side of the bunker here. And we're looking for this tiny little bunker kind of on the eastern side of this map right so this small little building and when you find this building this will be a locked door you can either pick it or if you have some bolt cutters on it just smash that with your bolt cutters and go inside and now we're gonna go prone to get underneath this wooden kind of table here and when you go underneath that now you'll see an entrance into the basement of this building and when you get down here our next workbench will be right in front of you Also in this same building, this kind of armory building in the basement, just to the right of the workbench is another bench on which will be our next personal Engine letter. Room. If I take these out, the gun's useless. All right, so we're moving on. Uh, now we're actually gonna go to the area where our next kind of optional objective is. So it's kind of just east of us. This is where you have to destroy the suspended scuttle charge. So on the south side of that kind of optional objective is this building here. And there's gonna be two kind of uh, you know German officers that are patrolling that building. I've went ahead and marked them again so you can see where I'm at. And if again, if you use your binoculars and look at them, it will tell you which one has the personal letters. And that's really good to do because if you do happen to get in a battle when you kill them, the the actual letter icon will stay on their body so if you did certain you know use your binoculars to identify that now that I've killed him you can see that the letter icon is still on the map and that's a good thing to do because sometimes you might get spotted you might get into a battle and you're like oh man where's the officer that I killed that had the letter so it is good to kind of identify these with your binoculars you know if you want to nonetheless when you search that officer you'll get your next personal letter we're still in the same area where we're going to do the uh, optional objective. Okay, so you, now you can see I'm just kind of west of actual indication marker. Uh, so that's the marker where you're going to shoot that weak point to destroy those. And on the west side of that, you should see these two kind of green buildings. Uh, we're going to go up the uh, ramp here inside the first building on the west, and we'll find our next collectible sitting on the table here. So once you've destroyed that optional objective, we're going to head north out of that, and then we'll go east along this road for our next uh, Stone Eagle or our Dead Eye target. So that's where I'm at. It's over here actually near the munitions bunker. So we're going to head north out of that optional objective. Again, this is a small path, and when you get back to kind of the main road, just look right or look east. And up on that munitions bunker, you should see the Stone Eagle right there, easy to spot. So go ahead and take that out, and that's our last Stone Eagle of the mission. 
All right, so we've kind of finished off the eastern section. Now we're heading west to the hidden facility, which is the kind of final portion of this mission. And you can see I'm kind of at this, you know, compound just east of the indicator. So that's on the western side of the map. You're actually be going down in that bunker there. But if you look to the left of that bunker entrance, you'll see a trench kind of going off to the left. So we're going to go ahead and go up that. You should see an artillery gun up here. Once you get to that, take a right and you'll find your next kind of workbench sitting in this small room here. Closed off. Has to be cracked. So after you've collected that workbench, now we're going to head into the bunker itself, and you're going to have you know multiple optional ways to complete this objective. One of which is to radio in the scuttle code. That location is actually where we're heading to get our next collectible. So that'll kind of give you an idea of where to go. But also a good point of reference is the U-boat. Behind the U-boat is kind of a war room. It's going to have a bunch of officers in there uh, that you're probably going to have to kill. But to the left of that is a small hallway that you can use to get to the other side. And when you get over here, just take a right and take this catwalk all the way down into this room and then again this is where your optional objective indicator is so you can see it's right above that waypoint and across from that safe on this desk here is our next classified so, document they cut corners to build the test site in time Over so moving west from that underground you know area i've kind of completed the mission i just have to exfil but this is the western side of the map there's a small kind of fortress area again this is actually where we shot our stone eagle uh earlier in the game so you should be able to find this pretty easily it's got this large kind of concrete tower head into that and we're going to go into the bottom floor and go into the room on the bottom floor and once you come in here right in front of you on a table is our final collectible of mission five so we've gotten all the collectibles in the first five missions of the game i hope you guys are finding this helpful. Uh, I've personally been enjoying the game a lot and hopefully I'll see you in mission six.